everyone thank you so much for joining me today for those of you that are new to my channel my name is Crystal and you're watching Fashion Beauty and Wine. So in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing some of the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop products. Now, I don't know when NYX decided to extend the Can't Stop Won't Stop line, but I was in Sephora the other day and I happened to skip along to the NYX section and I noticed they had a full line of the Can't Stop Won't Stop products. I saw setting powders, new concealers, primers, and I just couldn't believe it. Like, it's kind of weird because I hadn't heard anything about them extending this line and I actually haven't seen any YouTubers pushing this product or reviewing this product, but here we go. So in today's video, I am going to be doing just that. I wanna try out these new products and I wanna see how these products work. So if you wanna see what I think about this new can't stop, won't stop line, then stick around and keep watching the rest of the video. So I'm gonna start off by prepping my eyebrows with the NYX brow pencil in the color Espresso. I really don't like this brow pencil because uh, it's just a little bit too waxy and the color doesn't go on well. But anyway, since we're doing a NYX video, then I'm gonna stick with NYX products. So instead of using the Can't Stop Won't Stop primer, I find that the Hydra Touch primer works a lot better with the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. Just because the foundation dries down matte, the Hydra Touch primer will add some hydration to the skin and that'll stop the foundation from flaking, turning patchy, or peeling. So for foundation, I'm obviously using the Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation, and I'm actually using two colors. The two colors that I'm using are Mocha and Deep Sable. Mocha is actually my summer color, while Deep Sable is my winter color, and because these two colors don't give me the perfect range, what I like to do is mix them to create the perfect shade, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm taking the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the color Cappuccino and I'm placing that in all of my conceal areas under the eye, around the nose, forehead, things like that, as well as the eyes. <laughs> Let's not forget the eyes, okay? And I am going to blend that out. When I went into the store, I was extremely confident that I would get the right color because I have been using concealers for so long and feel like I was used to them, but boy oh boy was I wrong. Look at how this concealer is turning up orange and this darker concealer that I'm using to contour with, which by the way is in the color Deep Espresso, I haven't even put half the amount that I use when I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I am already having a very hard time blending this out. So word to the wise, know your color or if you don't, um, get color matched. This concealer is extremely dark and it's getting all over my face and it's becoming a muddy mess. Um, so I'm not gonna blame this one on NYX. We know how to turn lemons into lemonade, and so what I'm just gonna do is take some of that opposing concealer and put it in areas uh, to clean up some of that darker color. We're just gonna keep repeating these steps until we get it right. Now I'm gonna dip into the Can't Stop Won't Stop setting powder in the color Banana, and I'm gonna use that powder to set all of my conceal areas, so underneath the eye, around the eye and guys i want you to take a second and look at the setting powder like it may not seem noticeable to you but it's giving me casket ready look and i really don't like the way it's making my face look it's almost sucking all of the color out of my skin and making me look real pale and green So glad though that I have the Can't Stop Won't Stop Medium Deep Setting Powder because I feel like this setting powder has truly saved the day. Even though it seems like these setting powders are sitting on top of my skin, this one is really helping to bring back colors. And I definitely feel like this is a setting powder that I can use all over my face. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just right. So 
So this is the finished look. And even though everything came out pretty nicely, I did have some problems with some things. Now, if you're wondering about the concealers, I will say the consistency of the concealers are pretty thick. Um, they're not gonna be as thick as a Tarte Shape Take, but they're not gonna be as runny as the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. If I had a good concealer to compare these two, I probably would compare them to the Makeup Revolution Concealer. So uh, probably a little bit thinner. Now, as far as the performance, I will say that the concealers do dry down pretty quickly. Now, they're not gonna dry down as quickly as the Beauty Bakery concealers, but they do dry down pretty quickly. So I had a little bit of a problem with blending things out around the forehead, as you could see. Um, I also don't know if I got the wrong colors or whatever, but I will say that the concealer color was a little bit too orange. It was darker than what I typically go for, which at the beginning, I didn't think it would be a big problem, but after really getting into it, it wasn't as bright as I would have liked it to be, but this definitely is a great concealer for everyday wear. So I'll definitely keep this on standby when I wanna do an everyday look. Now, I generally like to go with darker contour shades, but I haven't had a contour shade that has been dark as I like. I've kind of gotten used to that, and so using this dark concealer color, it kind of made it harder for me to blend everything out, so I did have a little problem, and there were those areas where the concealer kind of dried up, and then I was really having a hard time with blending things out. So I will say that, um, you don't need the concealer as dark as possible. And when I saw that it was dark, I did make sure that I didn't use as much because generally when it's darker, you don't really need as much. But um, if I had to redo any of these, I would definitely get one shade lighter with the both of them. Now NYX does say that these concealers are 24 hour matte concealers and I've had the concealers on for about an hour. They don't look very matte to me. Like they look more luminous and more dewy. And actually when I was setting my face, I noticed that the concealers were getting very, very oily and they were picking up a lot of shine. And that was even after I set them. So I wouldn't say that this is gonna be a 24 hour matte. like. Not at all. As far as the setting powders go, the setting powder that I used to conceal my face, which is in the color banana, was way, way too yellow. It was crazy yellow. This setting powder, I felt like just kind of sat on my skin rather than blended in, and I really didn't like it. Now, with the darker color, I really liked it, the medium deep. I felt like it acted almost as a bronzer and then it also acted as a setting powder and I actually really liked it like this one was probably my favorite one out of all of them and this shade is medium deep it worked well to set my full face even the contour area um, and I just absolutely thought it was stunning it's definitely something that I will pull out in the future when I want to set the rest of my face it's gorgeous the only thing that I will say about it is that with these setting powders they don't really um, hold a matte finish. I mean, as you can see, like my face is already oily. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this video and you found it interesting or informative, even entertaining. If you have, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. And if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed, please take a moment to press the subscribe button. And while you're at it, press the alert bell so that you can be alerted every time I post a new video. Now I am on social media. I will leave my socials on the screen. Thank you again for joining me. Peace, love, fashion, beauty, and wine. Bye. <laughs>